Hey everyone, this is Rich and Bree here, back for part 4 of this Titanic 2 tutorial. Mm -hmm. And today's focus is the ship's deck houses on the top, uh, bridge wheelhouse, officers quarters and all those deck houses, and any other details I can think of along the way. Uh, you okay Bree? Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. You working on your yep. build? Yep. Good, 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 good. So what we're going to do today, uh, I'm going to start on the, uh, the front of the ship's superstructure at the front of the deck house and we've got the front of the wheelhouse done well the front of the bridge done so far in part three so what we're going to do now we're going to add a wall across the front of the ship's bridge so start from the center and just work our way out we're going to go all the way across the front like so and then when you get to the sides you're going to go down the sides you're going to want ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like that and then do the same on the other side. Go out to the side like so. Out to the side and then ten back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So yeah, that's our design done there. And the bridge wings, uh, the little huts on the side. On the original, when I built this. Um, the hut, the huts hung, uh, hung over the side by one, but I've changed the design slightly because, you know, but uh, what you can do, you can add the huts now, which are in build, a pillar there too high, and then a too high pillar there, and then one, one back again, and then one in again in the corner, add a three high pillar there, so you've got that sort of design like that, and then we just add the roof, like so, and there we are, there's our corner wheelhouse bridge wing. And like I was saying, the originals would hang over the side by one block, but I changed that just so it'd make it easier for me. We we'll do the same the other side. Two up on the sides, two up like that, and two up again, and then in the corner, three up like that. Fill in the roof, and there we go. There's our bridge wings done like that. Now for the front of the wheelhouse, we're going to want to add uh, seven windows. So if we go from the middle and add our first window, which is two blocks high, like so. And then we're going to want to add three other sides, so one, two, three, like that, and the same the other side, one, two, three, like that. And that's our wheelhouse done. And we we'll add the pillars in between, and the pillars at the sides as well. Like that. There we go, and the end pillars we can add up by one block, same the other side. And then for an overhang we go one block forward one block forward and then join them together across the front. Now this is probably not accurate to the real ship but I like to add an overhang just my personal preference but there we go that's that little job done there. And once again I'll add a, I'll add a centre block just to mark it like so. There we go. So that's the front of our wheelhouse bridge ship thing. What's it? And it don't look too bad. So what we're going to do now is go behind that front set of windows and we're going to build the size of the ship's uh, what is it, the officers quarters and gymnasium and things like that but like I was saying in the beginning this is going to be a very half assed design because I'm doing it symmetrical whereas on the original Titanic it wasn't so if you want to complain, bitch and scream about it go ahead and do so, I will not be listening right, so what we're going to do from the side pillars here we're going to build back uh, 13 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 like that and then we want out 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like so, and then we want is it 13? Hmm, must be just so 13 like that, and then out five like that. And then we want the side 48. So I'll put the first block there and we'll measure as we go along. So we want 48, so that's four eight. We want how long is that? That's 29, and then 47, 48, like that. So that's 48 there. And at the end of the 48 we want out 3, 1, 2, 3, and then we want 41, so once again I measure as I go along, so that's the first block there, and we want 41. How far is that? That is 30, and there are 41, so there we are, that's one side of it done there. And then across the back, how far do we want? We want to go 14 inwards, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus a colour block to mark the centre. I think that's the centre. If it ain't, then save it. 
Right, so that's like I say, that's half of it done. You want to do it the same from the other side. So go from those pillars, those side pillars of the windows again. So just do the same design. Back 13, out 5, side 48, out 3, side 41, and then back inwards here again. So I'll do that in a jump cut. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to build these walls to 4 high all the way along. And hopefully that will all work out just right. So set quartz like so. Love you, honey. Love you. <laughs> How's your build come along? Good. Good, 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 good. So if anyone's interested in what Bree's doing, she's building popcorn stands. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to try and do every kind of yep. popcorn. <laughs> Check out her Instagram for more information. <laughs> there we go, there's our side walls done there. Yep, and that's where I post all my pixel arts. Mm -hmm. Pixel arts and, and all builds. builds. Yep, on your Instagram. Um, and they're quite popular, well, at least in my opinion. Um, yeah, love you, honey. Love you. Right, so that's uh, one side done there. So what I'm going to do now, just quickly copy and paste it. Like I said, it's the same on both sides, whereas on the original ship it wasn't, so who gives a toss? <laughs> and so we do copy, flip, and right to the and then paste. And oh, babe, go. what did you say about um, if people want to bitch and moan, you won't be listening? Yeah. You, you were talking too fast. What What was that about? Oh, it's just it's just the um, I was saying this section of the ship I'm just building. On the original Titanic, it was different on both sides. It sort of had different design. You know, walls were different, differently laid out. Whereas on this version, mm -hmm. the walls are both the same on on both sides. So okay. not not accurate to the real ship. But I thought, you know, if people want to bitch and moan about it, then they can. It don't matter. It's better when things are the yeah. same on both sides. Yeah, it's easier to build. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. So that's um, that's that bit done there. So what I do, I just add the roof. Um, I use the fill tool for this one. It, should, it might be a bit of lag for a second, Bree, but hopefully it won't. So fill. Wood by 200. Oh, don't do the whole ship. No, no, no. Crash. No, just doing the one deck. There we go. There's the, there's the roof added there. And it should look something like that. And then, as before, like with the usual things, you can start adding the doors and windows. I just add a couple down the side for a minute. So put a window there, and then a pair of doors here. And then windows and windows and windows it's it's the same process that I do with all my ships it's basically a pair of doors and then a dozen half a dozen windows and then doors and things like that all the way around if I just fly over to the prototype you'll get to see get to see how I've done it so I'll just fly over a second and you'll see and there we go there's doors windows 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 doors windows windows, windows doors windows, windows like that so nothing sp <coughs> nothing special but you know how it is so yeah, that's that little job done there. That's that one all deck house done. And as you saw, probably saw on the prototype as well, the top, the roof of the ship's wheelhouse is meant to be grey, whereas I just built it wood here. So this this section here, up to where the deck gets wider, you can change that to grey. So I shall do that quickly. So we'll just replace that. So we'll do set two five two five one eight, and there we go. There's that section changed to that. So that's all grey. And uh, there we go, so that's that one done there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the doors and windows. I'll do a jump cut, add the doors and windows, and we'll return in just a moment. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's all the doors and windows added there. And that's the first deck house superstructure thingy. But what's it done? So what we're going to do now is go to the back of this, and we're going to leave a gap, and we're going to count back to where the third funnel will go. So. Uh, I've not added any doors or windows across the back here because that's we can leave that blank, but you can add windows if you want. So we go from this centre block here at the back, and we're going to count back to the 36th block back. So that's one there, and we're going to go to block 36. So that's 10, 20, 30, 4, 5, and 6. So on the 36th block, I'm going to put a red block there for mark the centre, and we're going to build our deck house here, which is going to be. Um, 11 wide, so that's 5 either side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that way. And then the sides we want uh, 7. Or is it on sides? 8, sorry, 8, 8, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then out 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
and then size 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then inward 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then back 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like that so there we are that's one side there I just do the other side quick as well so we want um, back 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then out 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 back 10 1 2 3 4 damn it 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then inward 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then back 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we join them together across the back like so and then put a marker for the center block which is that one Oop, there. There we are. there's our third funnel deck house it's, very, it's much simplified to what it was it's meant to have more corners on it but I thought so let's make it simple <laughs> and then what we want to do is just increase it to four high all the way around so once again it's another case of using weld in it and everything will be fine so it's is a simple one. So make it just just make it four height all the way around, and like I said, this will be where funnel number three will sit. our funnel done there. Well not funnel, the deck house rather, it's, it's done like that. And then the roof, you can use either wood or grey. I'm going to use grey. Um, it's going to be grey concrete or light grey concrete. So I shall stand on this block here and we'll just fill the whole thing in, the whole roof which will sit along the top here like that. We'll just use grey, light grey wall. So we we'll use fill uh, 2518 by 200 and that fills in the whole thing. And there we are, there's our roof done there. Marvellous. And as before, you can start adding the doors and windows around it. Um, and everything should all look up fine. Um, next deck house we're going to do, we're going to go to the back wall of this deck house again. And we're going to leave a four block gap. So go to the fifth block behind from the centre. So one, two, three, four, five. Colour block again. Then we're going to build this deck house um, 20, uh, 25 wide. So that's. 12 each side I think, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then the sides are, yeah, I'm just going to work it out, so the sides are uh, 14, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then join them together across the back. Like so, and then put another colour block to mark the centre. There we go, and as before, this is just another four block high building, or a block square thingy, what's it? Now just build it four high all the way around. Like so. And there we go, there's that deck house done like that. And then the roof uh, is the same again, it's just grey. So I just stand on this block here. Like so. So there's the roof done there. And it should, should look something like that. So it's all grey. I think it's, it's on the prototype, I can't remember. But there we go. So um, that's the. Uh, that deck house done and then for the um, windowed area what we're going to do is go from the front centre of the roof and go one inwards and then we're going to add a line of what is it we want seven so that's one in the middle plus three each side and then five on top one two three four five and then three one two three and this would be the um, pyramid star roof that the, this thing has so just build it to the back end as well to the other side, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. So they have that design like that. And then this top piece will be three wide, like so. And then 
and then every third block um, we just build down a step design like so and then we're is it how how does it want it yeah build a step down design like that so two and then two and then two and then two for that sort of design and then we'll get us our, our uh, court stairs like so we'll add our stairs at the ends like that something like that let me just check the prototype because I can't remember how this goes I think the top wants steps across like that yeah I think that's how it goes I'm going to try to remember myself how I designed this thing. Yeah, I think it goes like that. And then in between, we'll put... Um, we don't have black stairs, but I think what I used, I used nether brick stairs. And we'll put those in between to make it look like there's black windows or whatever. All the windows are blacked out. And there we go, that's one side of that pyramid done. And then we just do the same the other side. So I get our stairs again. And add those stairs all the way across like so. And then we do our same design like so. So every third block we go two, 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 two like that. Kind of like a garage, but there we go. And there we go, and then, like I say, with our nether rack stairs, or nether brick stairs, whatever they're called, do that same design on this side. And there we go, that's that's that little job done there. And then, from that deck house, we're going to move on to the, the, the glass dome of what will be, I think, the second grand staircase. And for this, we're going to go to the sides of the back wall of this deck house, and we're going to go to the... Uh, I think it's 11, hang on, we want to go to the 8th block in, sorry, from the end, so from the ends here, we count to the 8th block inwards, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, to that point, and we build back 11, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, damn it, it's 6, hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, same the other side, so eight blocks in, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then across the back, like so, with a centre block, like so. And then we double that in height. Uh, is it two high or three? I actually want it three high, so three high all the way around. I'll build it as quick as I can. Like so. that and then for the glass dome we just build a spine along the centre so from the back we go forward like so and then what you can do it's up to you when you can mother make this all glass or you can have it with ribs in between so I usually do it with ribs so we just add spine from the spine just build ribs going out to the sides like so and the same on the other side Like that, and then just fill in the whole space of glass. And it should look rather neat. Very basic, but it's quite neat otherwise. And there we go. That's that deck house thingy. What's it done there? Marvellous. So what I'm going to do now, I'll do a quick jump cut again. Because what I'll do, I'll add the doors and windows to these two deck houses. And then we'll move on to the next two. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've added the doors and windows to these deck houses, and and once again, it's it's just the the same random stuff that I do. It's a pair of doors, a set of windows, and random places. So if you want to copy these, you can just have a quick look. If not, then do your own thing. Use deck plans or whatever. But you know, there you go. So what we're going to do now. We're going to move on to the next deck house, which will be for funnel number four, I think. So if we go to the back end of this glass dome thing, and we go to I think it's it's a five gap, so go for the go for the sixth block back. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block we'll add our colour block, like so. And then this wall is gonna be 
11 wide, so that's 5 either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that way. And then the sides, we want 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And they're going to curve out slightly, so we want 3. 1, 2, 3. And then um, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 3 back in again. 1, 2, 3. And then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, uh, how do we want it? We want from the end there, we want. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to work this one out. Yeah, it's fine. So we just do the same on the other side. So what was it? It was sides, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three. One, two, three, and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then three. One, two, three, and then ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Join them together across the back, like so, and then a center block, like so. And there we go. So that, that the reason the deck house bows outwards on the side like that is because the fourth funnel when I, when I designed the ship originally this goes back to my Titanic from 2018 as well um, the deck house was too narrow for my funnel so I made the deck house slightly fatter there so the funnel would fit um, that's my sole design that is something that I patented onto my design but other people seem to have copied it for some bloody reason but there you go but uh, yeah that's that's just what I done and when I see that on ships I know that is my ship so yeah, it's just it's just another one of those deliberate uh, inaccuracies I add to my ships, but there we go. Anyway, what we'll do now is increase these walls again to four high all the way around. So, well, did it it's a must probably. I'll just do this freehand on it and have a little rant on them here. Hey, babe. Hello. Mhm. Mm Go on to the next. What are we popcorn I'm doing? What one? Chocolate chip. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Keep going, honey. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Is there enough enough uh, cages for you? Yeah, um, I still have. Five or six more ahead of me. Okay, okay. Good luck with the build, hun. Good luck with your build. You say, do I like what I build? No, I say, good luck with your build. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, just to get near the end of this, build this last wall up to four high. Good luck with you. Thank you. There we go. There's a build done like so. And is this roof grey or wood? It is grey. So we just add the roof, which is all grey. So once again we use fill, where is it fill, fill, fill. And there we go, there's the roof added there, and that is that full funnel deck house like so. And as before you can use you can start adding doors and windows, but not just yet, because we need to add the raised platform. So if we go to the front wall of this of this deck house, and from the sides, uh trying to work out how do we do this one. If we go to the third back on the side, so one, two, three to there. And then we build out nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like so. And then we want to go back thirty-three, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. I think that's thirty-three. I just measure it while I'm here. Excuse me. Bray. <laughs> Actually, that's one too many. So what? Thirty-three. There we go. So and then do the same on the other side. So third back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then 33 down the side. I won't bother counting it, I just compare it to the other side. Like so, and then across the back. Like so. And it should look something like that and then I can't remember if it's one high or two high I just go to the prototype and work it out I think it is yeah it's just one block is it one block high yeah it's just one block high so I don't need to raise it anymore and what I'll do before I start adding the deck we'll just add another color block to mark the center there and then this whole area will just fill in with one block high in wood decking so we get the wood blocks as you can see just fill this whole area in around inside this in inner ring 
Let's fill it all in with wood. So I should use the fill tool again. So fill wood by 200 or 300. And there we go. There's that raised deck done there. And uh, they don't look too bad. Marvellous. So like I say, that's that deck house done and, and uh, you can start adding the doors or windows. What I'm going to do, I should do another jump cut um, while I do that and then we can move on to the next deck house. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the doors and windows added to that deck house there and it should, in theory, look something like that. Like I say, it's just, it's just random placement of things so you can copy that or do your own thing. Um, I didn't do the back wall, which I forgot, but never mind. So what we'll do now, we'll move on to the next deck house which is the, I think it's the lift shaft or entrance, I can't remember anyway, so what we'll do, we'll go to the back wall again of the raised platform, not the deck house, but the raised platform we're going to go to the fourth block back, so one, two, three, four and put our colour block there, and then we want a wall which is eleven wide, so that's five either side, so one, two, three, four, five there one, two, three, four, five that way and then the sides are 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then across the front, or back, whichever way you're looking at it, to the back. Cut up block again. And then this wall all the way around is uh, 4 high, I think. Yep, 4 high all the way around. So do my usual thing. Try and world edit it to edit it. When I get to it, so that's one side like that. So set courts again, like that. And then oop, down to that side there, and then across the back, other side to the back there. There we go. So there's our building thingy, what's it done like that. And then the roof again is just in grey, or you can make it in white, depends on what you want to do. But I use grey again because it's easier. Uh, so once again, from the top, just add the grey. Oh, like that. I did that one. That's wood, so I want grey. Where is it? Grey, 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 grey. That one? No, nope. that one. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so that's grey roof, like so. And then on the top, we want another square. So if we go. Uh, where do we go? I want this as. I want one forward from the back. So if we go from, from the back here, back wall, go one forward from the back. Then we build a square, which is five wide. So that's one in the middle plus two either side and then the sides are five as well so one two three four five and one two three four five and across the back or front like that and then you want this three high all the way around like so and then the roof is just in white again like so and there we go there's our lift shaft deck house thingy what's it done like that and then in, on the ends you just want to add those funny vent things so if we go down to the back wall and go to deck level we'll go third block in from the side or second block in from the side and we build up uh, one two three four and then one two three four I think we want it three wide so one two three four like that and then try to work out how to do this actually make it three four high plus five and then six, make it six high like that and then put a line of blocks behind like so and then with the stairs, we just build the stairs like so, and I'm just doing this at random because I can't exactly remember how these go and then on the front we just add one, two, three, one, two, three like that so that's one vent like that I'm not sure if it is a vent but it sort of looks like it so if we do the same on the other side, so from that block, that centre block, two out go one, two, three, four, five, six up and then make that three wide and then the front like so and then a line of box across the back and then the stairs stairs, 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 stairs and there we go, there's that deck house done and um, as before you can start adding the doors or windows to this deck house and it should all look fine but it's not a real necessity to do just yet but that is pretty much all the deck houses done um, on the top superstructure and they don't look too bad uh, next job we want to do is the raised platform between funnel 2 and funnel 3 which if I, if I was doing my original Titanic or my 2018 Titanic there would be a lot of detail with this but as this is just a, <laughs> a really crappy mock up I'm just going to do it very vaguely um, what we're going to do, we'll go to the back wall of the first deck house and 
and we're going to go from the corner blocks on the sides and we're going to count to the seventh block in so this is from the left so if we go one two three four five six seven to that point there and it's the same on both sides so you can just do the same there i know on the real ship it's not symmetrical but as this is my ship and i do what i like so it's it is symmetrical so it's seven blocks in and then we're going to add a line of 14, so that's 1, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then out 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then back 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I think, <coughs> I think we want to curve out, curve outwards, so we want a line of 2, so 1, 2, and then sail, so 7, and the size was six. Let me just check that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six. So then we want two like that. And then we want seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two curving inwards again. Two like that. And then three. One, two, three. And then out two again. One, two. And then seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two. One, two. And then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven like that. And then inwards three. One, two, three like that. And there we go, that's one side done. And then what you do, you double that in height, so it's two blocks high, all the way around. And it'd be the same on both sides. I do the other side as well, freehand, so you know, <laughs> if there's any mistakes that I've done, you'll probably pick it up. So let's build this one as quick as I can. Like so. So that's one side done. And now what we do is do the same on the other side. So from the corner block, we'll go to the seventh block in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I want to build back uh, uh, 14. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then um, we want out six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. No, out seven. Sorry, it's now. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then back six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then curving out, we want two, one, two, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Curving in, we want two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three. Curving out, we want two, one, two, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two again, one, two, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then inwards three, one, two, three, like that. And then build it to two blocks high all the way around. And there we go, that's that raised platform outline done. And then for the raised platform itself, the raised deck, you just go from the on the inside, you just go from the top of the, the top white line and just add the blocks like so. Go filling in this whole space up to the, each deck house. So I should put a block here and stand on that, and then we just use world edit to fill in the whole thing. So we'll use fill wood by 300. That should fill in the whole thing, and it did. And there we go, that's that raised deck like so and it don't look too bad so that's that job done there and uh, no, it don't look too bad so what I'm going to do now I shall quickly look at what I'm doing and I'll do another jump cut and then we can move on so um, no, back in a moment ok back again so what we're going to do now is move on to adding the pillars for the promenade deck and the uh, well the deck below that I don't know the names of all the decks, all I know we've got the boat deck, the promenade deck, the well decks and the folk soul and that's pretty much it so yep yeah, I'm not going to get too political with all this thing but anyway what we're going to do we're going to focus on the promenade deck first and it's going to be the same on both sides but I'm just going to focus on one side um, and then copy paste it so what we'll do we'll go to the the open area on the promenade deck behind the windows and what we're going to do we're going to add some stairs or a stair block in there like so to create the curve and then every fourth block, so count this as the first block, so one, two, three, four, add a pillar. Now I'm using end rods. Some of you can use, well you can use anything you want really. Some people are going to use quartz blocks, some will use wood fence, but I'm going to use end rods because it's sort of the thinnest and the best looking thing. And also gives it a bit of light as well. So we use end rods. Um, so every fourth block, I don't know how many pillars we want, but just add them every fourth block, all the way up to the end of the deck. 
and that should that that should be that little job done. So I should do this as quick as I can. I know end rods are are a little bit finicky to add because of their size and narrownessness, but they do do the job quite nicely. And I think the first ship I used these on was the Arundel Castle all those years okay. ago. Yeah, I think I think it was the Arundel Castle because th before that I was just using um, just quartz blocks, and I thought it looks too looks too gawky so I thought I'd just look around yeah. the inventory and see what else there was and the end rods looked quite good so yeah they do I agree yeah they do have, they've kind of stuck I've <laughs> used them on a couple of my ships mm-hmm yeah, just a just a simple design mm-hmm mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how many I need on this deck but I'll just add them to the end of this deck and oh there we go up to the end there like that so yeah there's those end rods added there, and that looks quite neat. And yeah, it it it, it just adds something to the design, doesn't it, Bree? Just yeah, makes it look a lot better. So that's that's that deck done there. So what we do now is go to the deck below in this small area here. We will do the same again. So we we'll add our thing there, and then every fourth block, one, two, three, four, add end rods. Once again, not knowing how many I need, but we will just go over what we have. Like so, and there we are, there's our end rods in that gap there, and that looks quite cool too. So do the same on the other side, and it should all look fine, I'll do the same in a little bit, either jump cut or just do it on camera. Um, but that's that job done there, and then what we do, we go to the front of the promenade deck and the deck below, and we do the same again, but this time it's slightly different for the top deck. The top deck up here, which is this one here, the front of the promenade deck, we'll add the corner block again in there like so, and then we're going to add three pillars with a two block gap so instead of th every third block we'll every third every fourth block we'll every third block so one two three one two three pillar one two three pillar one two three pillar like that so that's the front there and then on the deck below it'll be the same as the rest of them it'll be just four blocks so put a stair block and then every fourth block one two three four stairs one two three four pillar sorry not stairs pillar one, two, three, four, pillar. And there we go, there's our pillars added there. And that just makes the ship look so much more Titanic like, doesn't it? Right, so um, I think one more job we can do is across the front as well. There's three pillars that sit underneath the ship's wheelhouse. Now, on the prototype, I used quartz blocks. So if I had the first quartz block there in the middle, like that, and then go one, two, three, four, five blocks out, another one. One, two, three, four, five. Add another one there, and it don't look too bad. But I think if you can experiment with end rods, it may look a bit better. So if I try the end rods, and that don't look too bad. But I think, mm, I think personally, I think, I think quartz box would be the better thing. So if I put the quartz box back. That's just my personal preference. So there we are. That's the front of the that section done there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick copy paste of the pillars and that just to get them out of the way. So I'll just quickly do that, and then everything should be a okay in theory. So I'll copy up to that point there, and I will miss out a few pillars, so I'll replace them as I go along. But if I just stand here and copy them to the other side quickly, so we do copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, there's our pillars added on that side. Now I do apologise for using welded it, but because this ship is so big, I'm not ashamed to use it. But there we go, that's our pillars added, and then I'll just do I just fill in the ones that I missed out on the deck here. And that point there. And then the last one there. And there's our pillars added there. So there we are, that's that little job done there. Pillars all done on both sides, our front and back. And the ship is definitely coming alive. And I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do another jump cut. I want to work out and write down what to do next. And then we can move on. So I'll just fly to the front end. And uh, marvel at what we have so far. So there's our ship so far. So like I said, I'm going to do a quick jump cut and I shall return in a few. So back in a moment. 
Okay, back again. So here we are at the front of the ship, and we're going to start work on the forecastle and the well deck. We're going to be doing cargo hatches, cargo cranes, the masts, and all the other details on there. But as per usual, if you're going to be using this as part of a downloadable project, a video on YouTube, or a, um, any other project containing this ship or any other ships of mine, then don't forget to leave credit for the design. There are a lot of people out there who do refuse to do so, so go fuck themselves. Um, that's just me. But anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do now is go to the, <laughs> go to the front of the superstructure, and we're at our first set of stairs. And there's going to be one set of stairs. I don't know if there's actually on the real ship, but you know, who cares? So we're going to go to the front left corner of the superstructure, and we're going to go to the fifteenth block in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then we remove four blocks of the white there like that, and then we add stairs going down to the well deck below and this is the first staircase there's only one of these as well on one side but you can add two if you want to it's up to you how you want to do this personally I couldn't really give two shits about it but there you go because I really don't like this ship um, and then we can do the other side the banisters sorry about my negative feelings about this ship it's just the way I feel about it um, you're entitled. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> I did not want to do this, and I still don't want to do it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's our uh, stairs done there. And then what we're going to do then is, we'll do, do now is add the cranes. Um, I don't know, once again, because this is a modern representation, I don't know if these cranes should be modernised or not. But I'm just going to do the same ones I did on my 2018 Titanic. Go to the centre block of the front wall of the superstructure, and then count to the third block forward. So one, two, three. And I'll put a centre block there to mark the centre there, and then we want to count out to the uh, to the fourteenth out. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then we build a row of three like that in yellow. So the bottom part is going to be yellow. So we want three, and then five, 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 and then three like that. So that's the base of the mat of the of the crane. And then build that to three high all the way around. So you've got two layers of white all the way around. Like so. So you've got basically a square like that. And then add a roof to the top. And there we go. There's the base of our crane. Now depending which way you want them facing. Because of course they pivot. You can either have them folded inwards. Or you can have them folded outwards. Entirely up to you. So as the prototype got them folded in. I'm going to have them folded out on this one. So in the centre block of the, of the crane. You're going to build up five high so one two three four five and then make that three wide like so like that and then across the back like that and then a center beam like so so there's our crane body like that and then using uh, I think it's court slabs we shall um, add those so the court slabs you want to go to the uh, second block up and then want to build a line of eleven so uh, on the side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Same the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 3 at the end, 1, 2, 3, like that. And there's our crane, like that. And then we want to do the exactly the same on the other side. Now I could either do a copy paste, but I think what I do, I just build it freehand. So from the centre block again, it's out 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And the same design again, so 3, and then 5, 5, 5, and then 3. And then double that, in, or triple it in height with the white, build up to 3 high. And then across the top, like so. And then the same again, middle, build up to 5 high, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 5 to the other side. And then across the back like so and then middle beam like that and then the crane arm itself second block up at the bottom build 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 3 in the middle 1 2 3 like that and there we go there's our two cranes like that now like I say they do pivot so you can either have them facing inwards outwards upwards or any way you want but it's, uh, it's entirely up to you how you want to interpret that so anyway, that's those done. So what we're going to do now is remove that centre block, which I put, we don't need that no more. And we're going to put our cargo hatches in. Now the first hatch, we go back to that centre block on the front of the superstructure, and we're going to go to the fifth, uh, sixth block forward. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to build our cargo hatch 11 wide, so that's five either side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five that way. And the sides are seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then across the front, you've got a big square like that. And then double that in height all the way around. I'll be back, honey. Okay, okay. Like that. And then we want the center block. Add a line like so. Bree's just going to get a dinner. And then um, the roof cover with slab like so. And it should look something like that. I'll do the same on the other side. And there we go, there's our cargo hatch done there. Now, if, if you wanted to, you could probably add the line at the bottom in yellow, but you know, have it dressed like that. But it's up to you what you want to do. I'm going to leave it as white because meh. So that's that cargo hatch. That's uh, so now we move on to the next cargo hatch, uh, which is a f uh, four gap, so five blocks forward of this cargo hatch. So one, two, three, four, five, and it's exactly the same design. So it's eleven wide, and the sides are seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then across the back, and then double it in height. Or I could just do copy paste, but as I'm here doing it freehand, I'll do it freehand. Fuck it. La, 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 dee, 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 dee. La, 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 la. So like I say, exactly the same design, but like I was saying, you can add the yellow band around the bottom of it. Um, but I just keep them blank for now. Like I, like I was saying at the beginning, this is a very half-assed build, if you know what I mean. I'm going to let the individuals do what they want to do when it comes to building it, add the details you want because um, I've built Titanic so many times I just couldn't really be bothered to do another one fully so there we go, so there's our two hatches done there and I'm just going to work out what I'm doing next um, well two as you said, I don't like this ship <laughs> no I don't, I don't like Titanic 2 um, so what I'm going to do now is add some stairs um, we go to the centre block of the back of the forecastle, so here's the forecastle, or forecastle as people like to pronounce it, but it's forecastle. And we go to, from the centre block we go to the twelfth block out, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and remove two white blocks, and replace with stairs going down to the well deck, so put blocks and stairs, stairs and blocks, blocks and stairs, like so. And then two up with the banisters, two up, two up, two up, and then two up, two up, oh, two up, two up, two up, like that. There we go. So there's uh, the first stairs. Like I said, do the same the other side, so 12 out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And add the stairs, like so. Yeah, there's the stairs and then just the banisters and then the other side and there we go there's the stairs done like that took a bit longer than I was expecting but never mind are they symmetrical can't really tell but we'll go with it um, so that's that and then from there we're going to go and add the mast now so if we go to the center block again of the forecastle and we're going to go to the th the fourth block forward on the wood so one two three four and then we build a cross like so, and it's a slightly different design to what I normally do with my Titanic mask, this is using my, my fancy modern technique. So from the front of the cross, so which is this block here, we're going to build that to 20 high, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 20 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 20 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, is that 10 or 11? I can't remember, I've got to count it. Well, did it? So that's 9, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go, so there's our mast done like that. And then uh, we'll go back down to the bottom again and build the sides up to 20. 
to the bottom, the height of the bottom 20. Like so. And the same on the other side. Like that. And then the back, you just build that up to the connect to the bottom of the top 20. So. And then you have a sort of slanty mass, but also chunky at the bottom, so it looks pretty neat. And there we go, there's our forward mast looking at something like that. And what we do from the top, we go to the fourth block down, or fifth block down, doesn't really matter. Just add the spurs, so one, two, three out uh, with a black block there. One, two, three with a black block there. And then a few more blocks down, we add a spur again, about six blocks wide, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And a black block there, same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six and a black block there. So there we are. there's our forward mast. I'm not going to add any radar detail or crow's nest to this thing because like I said I don't know what actually goes on the ship because like I say it's a fictional ship which is you know, sort, of, sort of half fictional half real because it's a realistic concept but still doesn't exist so there we go. I'm not going to bother adding any details. I'll leave that up to the individual. Right so that is our mast done there and then we go to the front of the mast and we go and add a what do we want now? We want another is it cargo hatch? Yep, yeah, we want another cargo hatch, so we go for the front of the mast and then we count to the ninth no tenth block forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we build our hatch seven wide, so that's three either side. And then the sides are seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then build it as a square. Like so, and then double that in height, like the like the cargo hatches on the on the well deck, just build them to two blocks high. And then for the cover, don't worry about adding the centre spine for that. We just add a flat cover to the top, and so it looks as basic as more well, basic really. that hatch done and then what we want after that is the breakwater which is just a diagonal line of blocks or in rows of two going out to the side so we go from the back of the cargo hatch we start from this point here and build out two and then diagonal out like so it doesn't matter how many you count because I don't know but just build it diagonally down to the side like so and then do the same the other side so out two plus the diagonals all the way down to the back end or down to wherever it ends there like so. So there we are, there's our car, uh, cargo hatch and break water. You can build it a bit taller if you want to because it's meant to divert water but um, I think what we'll do is make the first six or seven blocks two blocks high so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven like that. So it's meant to slope down and the same the other side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven like that. And there we go, there's our detail there like that. So what I'm going to do, I'll do another jump cut now while I work out what the next bits are and then we'll uh, move on, so uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again, so now we move on to the next set of details, which will be the anchor chains. So if we go to the front of that cargo hatch and we count to the uh, 10 blocks forward, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and put a center block, and then either side we want a square block and a square block, or square, like that, so it's four blocks square, times two for that, that would be the windlasses, so we build them like that and then we put some train track on the top to make them look like they've got circles on the top, so we put them like that, and there we go, and then get rid of that centre block, and then either e each 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 square we can use, uh, on the prototype and on my original I used stone slab, so we used stone slabs times two, wide like that, and we want these to be 19 longs, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, how far is that? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How? Oh, I can keep miscounting these. I want it 19 longs, so that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right, so there's two rows of 19, and then do the same the other side, so 19 again, times 2. Like so, 
and there's our two chains like that and then at the end we want our crane which once again I'm not sure if this was on the real ship or on the uh, supposed plan of the real ship but we'll add the crane anyway so we'll leave three, count three blocks forward of the front of the chains and we'll build our crane to five high so two three four five and at the top we'll add a slab like so and then the crane arm we want it to be seven so one two three four five six seven like so and then with the slabs we just build them down diagonally like so all the way down like that and there we go there's our crane like that slightly different to my prototype because I use blocks but this one I use slabs so there we go that's the uh, that's there um, on the prototype as well or not on the prototype but on my original Titanic there was an auxiliary cat uh, an auxiliary or extra anchor in this area here but once again as it's a modern ship I don't think they use this sort of thing so I just left it blank um, but that's that now for some of the extra details we can add a couple of blocks square blocks like so either side of the chain like so and then I don't really know what else we can add because this is very very watered down design so if we go I think if we go to the side of the cargo hatch we'll just add another square block like that and then again the other side like so and that's that and before I add the bollards what we're going to do we'll add the iron bars for the f uh, uh, for the handrails so if we get our handrails like so and as before we'll go from the center at the front and build our handrails around like so but once again as you can see the handrails if you're familiar with my bills the handrails sit on the wood so underneath the handrails on the corners we just replace with white blocks in the corners here so the handrails will sit on white blocks only all the way around so once again there replace with a white block I should do this all the way around this focal area like so and this will go behind the breakwater as well that's fine so I do the same on the other side quick there's our placements done there and we just add the handrails going around like so thank you Bree all the way around like so hey Bree hey. and then add them all the way around like so and then across the back like that So we've got the handrails across the back and they just go back up to the front. Like so. And it, oh, there we go. There's, there's the handrails added there like that. And it does make the ship look a lot more detailed. Ow, my knee. And then that's that. So what we're going to do now is get our anvils and what we'll do then is just add a few pairs of, of um, uh, bo <coughs> bollards all the way around so put a pair god these things are noisy pair next to the crane there and another pair sort of in line with the windlasses another pair sort of next to the cargo hatch and then another pair just in front of the brake water there so it's four pairs down that side and then we've got four pairs down the other side so I'll do them here as well Ding ding, very noisy. Uh, ding ding again. Ding ding again. And then a final ding ding up here. Like that, there we go. So that's the folks all pretty much done. Like I was saying, it's very watered down in terms of detail, but it is what it is. And if you want to complain, fair enough, I don't care. But there we go. Um, one more job on the folks all is to add the portholes or windows, if you like. Um, if we start on the side, if we go from, say, we're on the, the the right hand side, so we go from the back end of the white focal area, and in the centre block here of this white section, just add a window there, and then every four blocks forward, we'll add a window, 
and there like so. I'll say every four blocks, nothing really special. Oh, missed one. Up to there, and then up to there. <laughs> up to there. And there. Very boring job, but you know. And that'll do, I think. So there's our windows added there. I'll just do a quick copy paste to do the other side because I can't be bothered to do that one again. So, window there. Up to the centre block there. And I'll just quickly copy that to the other side. Like so, and there's our windows added there. And I don't look too bad. So, that's those bits done. And one more job to do with the folks or, or well duck area. At the end of the well, uh, at the end of the forecastle here, we just add um, three blocks up, and then two blocks up like that, and then we'll actually add another block there to create a curve sort of thing. And then same the other side, just go three, two, and one. So three, two, and one like that. And then we can do the same at the end of the uh, superstructure here. Just go three, one, two, three, two, one, two, and one. Or actually, you can go four, four, two, one looks better. I think yeah, four, two, one. Do the same the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, and one. Like that. And there we go. That's the front end of the ship done there. So, what I'll do now is I'll do another quick jump cut while I work out what to do next. And then we'll be uh, returning in just a moment. So, uh, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is start here at the back of the back of the ship, and we're going to add the fake rudder to this thing. Um, I'm going to use some night vision because I can't see jack shit underneath that fan tail. So I'll add a bit of night vision, like I say. Okay, it's so bloody dark under there. Right, so what we're going to do in black, <coughs> we're going to go one block up from the bottom. So where section zero is basically at the back here on this huge fin. Go one block up from the bottom of the black, and we'll add a hinge. Then we'll add six of these, I think. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's six hinges like that. Kind of like a, a comb. And then from that top block, you're going to build down uh, 12 in black. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 12. So you've got that sort of design like that. And then you want two red, like so. And then in the red, you want to go back seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one and then fill that in like so and then in black from the end one block in from the end you go up uh, up two one two and then you want up two rows of three one two three one two three um and then two one two and then two rows of three one two three one two three like that and there we go there's our rudder filled in or all sorted and now you just fill it in with black like so And there we go, there's our rudder done, or fake rudder rather, because this thing doesn't move, it's just there as a prop. Um, and there we go, that's that's pretty much what I'm going to do for today. So that's uh, quite a lot done. Um, so for the next part, I'm not sure what to do, probably get the lifeboats, or the, the the real lifeboats, the ones underneath the cover there, probably get them in. Probably the funnels, might, might get everything done in the next part, but we'll wait and see. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how we get on. But at least, at least two more videos probably, I think. Just to make it a bit easier on myself. So I'll probably get two videos out and done. So, um, yeah, we'll see how things go. But that is all for today. Uh, and we'll sure leave it at that. Uh, so this is Rich and Bree signing off, logging off and disappearing. Over to you, Bree. This is Bree signing off, logging off and disappearing. See you on the next video. <laughs> Bree's eating as you can tell. <laughs> and we'll see you all later on. <laughs> Bye for now, everyone. See ya. Totally. <laughs>